we have in the bottom left hand corner the yellow zerg pure faz up in the top right corner we have our purple zerg arutha so so far uh the all the players this week are even uh well well to be honest if pure faz wins this game then everyone will be even so we will see what happens uh we'll see if arutha goes for his roach uh push again he's uh i think he's done it in like every game so far in this league so he's really liking it doing the extractor trick there and just droning up for both players. Overlords heading out. They may meet. They may not. We'll see. Pure Fuzz, for some reason, seems to be using letters that we don't use for no reason. And Arutha is responding with love. So, there we go. Maybe Pure Fuzz has decided that he wants to be Norwegian. I don't know. Maybe. So... Pool first for Pure Faz. That is a 14 pool. And Hatch first for Arutha. So he is doing something quite different from before. And it looks like Pure Faz is actually a little bit worried that Pure Faz, that Arutha is going to be going for that early aggression. He's probably expecting it. Um, which I would not blame him for. It would be quite likely, but um, Arutha has now gone for the gas and pool, but he's got his expansion down quite a bit sooner than Pure Faz did. We'll see if either of them actually go for early aggression, or whether they're just trying to play it safe. At the moment, still just droning up. Pretty damn even on drones. Pretty damn even on everything, to be honest. But Arutha's expansion is a lot sooner. Pure Faz's pull has gone down a lot sooner. But he has not started speed or any Zerglings. So that hasn't actually helped him at all. In this situation, Hatch first probably would have been better. And he's going straight for a Baneling Nest. Interesting there. He has... um. He has had gas for quite a while, and he's not using it for speed, so there we go. Second gas is going down now. His expansion will be done soon. Arithas is already done. And he's got some lings out now. And more lings on the way. It's quite a lot of lings for this early. Let's see uh, what Purefaz does. He has started speed now, as Arutha just did, as I said that. So they're going for pretty, pretty close builds, except that Arutha does not have Banelings, so that puts him at a disadvantage. Because you can kill a lot of Lings with a Baneling. Uh, but Arutha has <laughs> got a lot of Lings on the way. Um, he's queuing up more, and these ones are going to get into the base. And I don't think there is actually anything but a Queen here. So this natural is definitely going to uh, definitely going to go down. That queen does pop out now, but it gets surrounded. It goes down almost instantly. All the drones here get taken out. He could take out the hatchery, but he's making the right choice and going straight for the main. Want to get those drones? Spine crawler's gone down. Looks like it's going to be taken out straight away though. Zerglings don't manage to get us around on the queen, but there's so many of them it doesn't matter. Another spine crawl has gone down, but it's not going to be enough for this many lings. Arutha is continuing to stream them across the map, still queuing them up. <laughs> Fuel Faz is. Oh, he's just. Uh, just lost every drone he has. And there we go, his, his few lings pop out. They, uh, they managed to do something, but not very much. Not sure where his lings are going. He's making a Baneling. He's going to go for one last ditch effort. We'll see what that Baneling does. Hopefully it's impressive. That that hatchery goes down. The Broodlings are too slow. 
And now Arutha is going straight for the spawning call. Probably a good idea, even though Pure Faz does not have any minerals. And he doesn't have any drones to get any minerals, so <laughs> this is going to be it. Andy GG's out. Oh.